Okay, we're back together. Made a video of the these guys walking clean around the building, trying to show a little bit of the area. And, uh, pro biker. I never read it. Never read that. Look at my gloves. Oh, but anyway, I went ahead and made this Emerald Station. Kind of cool. Um, but I, I decided to stop here and go ahead and make a quick video of this, of being here. This is one of the see, few sites I, I tend to stop at and like to show people. That was weird. Normally I have a goat and neutral before I start. That's okay. At least I was ready for it. Huh. Yeah. Don't feel the bike brakes dragging. Pretty cool. Feels a lot looser and uh, uh, freer than it was before. And like I said, that silver diner, I think it was a mock silver diner, but whatever. Whatever. It's been closed up for a while. There's going to be a new silver diner not too far away. I forget exactly where it's going to be. It's not going to be, it's not a new building or anything. It's a new owner, guy's taking it over. So it's like, got like I, I like that idea. Nice old car. I ain't gonna scream out they uh, years and all that. I don't want to care about that. Somebody should buy that old gas station up and prefab it. Don't turn it into a gas station. Just have it as a state, uh, some sort of store. Old service truck. Following one of those Chevy, uh, I think that's called Spark. Yeah, they, those little T cars. I'll tell you what, I was surprised how fast those things were. I wasn't following it on my bike, I was following it on my SUV. My SUV, it's not one of the faster vehicles. I mean, it's, it's a, it's, well, after it, the years, so the year it was made, they actually started calling them crossover small SUV. It was considered a small SUV whenever I first bought it. So, what ended up, it's not, it's got a little four cylinder in it. In, in, yes, it's got a car transmission in it. <laughs> it's not really an SUV, it's just a car, big car. Like a big station wagon or something. Like, yeah. Not too thrilled with it at the time. I do like my SUV though, don't get me wrong. My SUV is my baby. Look at that, another KLR. It's an older KLR, but it's a KLR. I used to work in the trucking industry. I was a mechanic for a few years. That one there just got a bath. reasons I'm basically up there just to be nosy. <laughs> to be nosy. Actually, I used to come through here because our I used to come I used to work for. Of course, this is a uh, truck stop. Down in here with little businesses on the back, of course, for trucks. And I used to come up here just to repair our trucks because we were right there, we were right down the road pipe, down the freeway basically, and uh, we weren't going to pay to have um, our sh not our shop do our repairs if we can do it simply just in the, in the parking lot, you know. But yeah. 
yeah, did a lot of repairs to these lots. Of course, these lots were basically dirt back then, too. It's been a long, long time. Used to have big old gouges out mud holes and everything else. I used to beat the heck out of my... I had a Volkswagen Rabbit. Used to beat the heck out of it. I do respect all the truck drivers that are out there. I know we have a few that are actually my subs. This ain't one of the more modern. Places. They don't, I think they do have internet at Wi-Fi. That's about it. Let's get up here and get out. Get out of here. This is known as Truck World. Of course, there's our state certified scales. Yeah, that the front brakes feel beautiful now. I haven't been really using them. Using the back brakes more.